Hello friends, most welcome to the crash course of psycholinguistics. In this video, we will discuss about critical period hypothesis and language acquisition. First of all, we will define critical period hypothesis, then we will discuss its supportive studies, and then at the end, we will uh, discuss its limitations. According to critical period hypothesis, there is a biologically determined period in early life of humans in which language is naturally easy to acquire, and after which language is increasingly difficult to acquire or learn. The critical period hypothesis was first proposed by Walter Fenfield and Lama Roberts in 1959, and later on it was popularized by Eric Lindberg and 1967. In developmental psychology and developmental biology, the critical period is a mature rational stage in the lifespan of an organism during which the nervous system is sensitive to certain environmental stimuli to acquire certain cognitive traits and skills. And after that period, the acquisition of those cognitive traits is either much difficult or even impossible. Similar is the case with language acquisition by humans according to critical period hypothesis. You may have seen some adults about 18 who have much difficulty in learning even the alphabets of a totally different language. For example, when they try to learn the ABC of English language. Okay, now here are some of the main points of critical period hypothesis and language acquisition. According to Fenfield and Roberts, the critical age lasts from birth to nine years. The researchers explained the critical period hypothesis in relation to both first and second language acquisition. According to Fenfield and Roberts, critical period hypothesis is uh, critical period is responsible for the acquisition of native like fluency and language. The child must begin to acquire language before the age of nine, otherwise the child would learn about only the basic linguistic understanding without any native-like fluency. Okay, now here are some supportive studies to critical peer hypothesis. Researchers who are in favor of critical period regard neuroplasticity as the basis for critical period. Neuroplasticity means that your brain is flexible at the younger age and so it grabs cognitive stuff easily. But as you grow, your brain becomes less flexible, making language acquisition difficult. Okay, now here is a critical example of the critical period. The case of Ginny, a 13 years old girl. Ginny's psychic father judged her as a mentally retarded child. She was isolated and kept alone in a room. At the age of 13, she was found unable to speak properly. Okay, now here are some of the limitations of critical period hypothesis. According to David Singleton, adults who learn a second language after the age of 9 don't necessarily encounter the problems proposed by Fenfield and Roberts. Okay, first language acquisition and second language learning is not only affected by neuroplasticity but also other factors such as environment, social factors, and personal motivation. Okay, so it was all about the critical period hypothesis and uh, language acquisition. And please subscribe my YouTube channel, I would be much thankful.